As soap makers, we're constantly struggling with how to turn soap bars like this into wrapped soap like this or this without breaking the bank or hurting the environment. So I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about how to wrap your own soaps with wrappers that you print right at home. Here's one of my standard soap bars. It comes from that typical 10 inch, two and a half pound mold that you can get off of Amazon. You know the one, the one that everybody starts with. And it results in bars that are about 2.7 inches wide, three inches tall, and one inch thick, depending on how thick you cut it, of course, but my bars are traditionally one inch thick. So the trick is to figure out how big your paper needs to be to wrap up your entire bar of soap and still fit into your home printer. Well, I've got some good news. If your bars are the same size as mine, you can just use one sheet of eight and a half by 11 paper and cut it in half and voila, you've got the perfect size wrapper for your soap. When you wrap it around the entire bar, you get overlap of about a half of an inch, which is perfect for you to be able to fully cover the bar and have the wrapper stick to itself. So now that we've got our piece of paper, we need to figure out where to put all of the information we need. When I center the bar in the paper, I have a gap of about one and a quarter inch on either side of the bar. That means that the space in between is all of the space that we have to put all of the details that we want on the front of the bar. I'm gonna draw that here using a rectangle. While the front of the bar usually contains the name of the company, the name of your soap, the weight, and the address, the back of the bar is traditionally where you put ingredients. So I'm folding the paper over the bar and noting right here where I would like to have the ingredients on the wrapper. Now I can unfold it again and draw a rectangle as a placeholder for where I want my ingredients to be. Now here I'm just going to sketch in where I want all of the basic information on the front of the bar. This is how everything is laid out on my labels, but you might choose to do something a little different. You might have a different sized logo or want to add some imagery to the front. It's completely up to you as long as you stay within the boundaries of what's going to be the front of the soap. In my final wrapper design, I also have an additional rectangle right here showing the name of the soap. The reason I have that on there is because when I store my soaps on the curing rack, I like to store them standing up. And having this little label on the top allows me to identify which soap it is just by looking at the top of it. For example, right here, these positivity bars. When they're all lined up, I can see exactly what kind they are without having to pull the soap out of the curing bin. Now for the fun part where we actually get to design our wrapper. I'm going to make it from scratch using Canva, which is a completely free tool that you guys should definitely be taking advantage of for your small business. But if you don't wanna do it from scratch, I also will be providing a template for you guys to download at my website free of charge. And I'll be adding all of the measurements down in the description box so you can check it out there. If you wanna start in Canva like I am, go ahead and create a custom new design with a width of 5.5 inches and a height of 8.5 because that's the size of half of a piece of eight and a half by 11 paper. The first thing that I like to choose when it comes to my wrapper is the background design. So you have many different options depending on what the theme of your business is. I went with something a little bit more floral because I have a, my business name is called Nest Soapery, so it's a little bit more nature oriented. But if you have a soap business that uses goat milk, you can definitely put goats in the background. Or if you like to use honey a lot, you can put honeycombs. Or if you like just a modern feel, or if you like stripes or something, you can find all of those textures here in Canva absolutely for free to use. You just need to kind of take a look around. For the purposes of this video and for this fake soap company that we're making wrappers for right now, I decided to use this um, hand-drawn polka dot texture. And it's really cool. Once you bring one into the canvas, you can just duplicate it and it will automatically snap to the corners so you can create a tiled look in the background. Now with this one, you can see that it is definitely squares of a pattern and that you're laying them together, but a lot of the patterns that they have as backgrounds here on Canva are seamless, meaning that when you snap them together, they look like one large image. 
Next, we have to put the rectangle in the center of the wrapper for where we're going to be putting all of our soap details. So I'm just searching rectangle under elements here in Canva, and I'm making it white because I don't want it to print any color there. You can make a different choice though. If you want the center of the wrapper to be black or blue, you wanna print in color, that is entirely up to you. You're the designer of your own wrappers at this point. Now, if you're designing your wrapper on your phone like I am at this point, I don't think that there's any way to check the dimensions of a rectangle that you have on your canvas. But if you're on the computer, you can make sure that the rectangle is the right size. Basically, what I'm doing here is creating a rectangle in the center of the wrapper where I know that the front of the soap is going to be and making sure to leave a gap on the side that is at least one and a quarter inches. Next, I'm grabbing another rectangle and bringing it onto my canvas. This is gonna be the rectangle where I put my ingredients list. I'm making it the same width as the front of my wrapper, and I'm gonna bring it all the way down here where we imagined the ingredient list to be on our original wrapper, the one that we hand drew. I'm making that one white as well, but again, you are the designer, you get to choose what you would like it to look like. Now I'm gonna start adding details. This is where things get pretty fun. You can change up all of the fonts. You can even use exactly the same fonts that you've been using before. Canva has an extensive list of fonts. And if one of them is something that you wanna use, but it's on Pro, you can get the Pro membership. It's not super expensive. And if you really only wanna use Canva for this purpose, I think you can do a seven day free trial and then just opt out of it at the end of that seven days so you don't have to pay and you'll get your wrapper. When you're adding all of the details for your soap, you need to make sure that you're following all of the labeling rules that you normally have to follow. So you need your soap company name, you need the soap company address, you need the weight in both ounces and grams at at least a quarter of an inch high on the front of the label. And there's a couple of other rules as well, so just make sure that you're being pretty mindful of what you're putting on the front of this wrapper. Canva is actually a pretty powerful tool and it has a really big library of already created elements that you can use to make all of your marketing materials. So not just your wrappers, but thank you cards as well. You can design stickers. You can even design your logo using Canva. I highly encourage you to just take a look around and start searching random things in the elements search bar and really see what you can find. When you're satisfied with your label, all you need to do is tap the down arrow in the top right corner and download it as an image. Then print it up two to one page and you're ready to go. And here's my final wrapper. Now let's start talking about actually wrapping the bar of soap. You've got a couple of options when it comes to adhesives. I would recommend a double-sided tape. This is one option here coming in a really big roll and you peel it off as the double-sided tape and its backing. You need to slice it with a scissor and then you can stick it exactly where you need it. When you're ready to actually make it sticky, all you need to do is peel the backing off and voila, invisible double-sided tape. To begin wrapping your soap, the first step is to make sure that your bar is placed properly on the wrapper. So I'm arranging the wrapper so that if it were flipped over, I'd be able to read it properly and placing my soap directly in the center. Then I'm wrapping the bottom and the top sides of the wrapper around the soap, sticking it with a double-sided tape. Now for your second adhesive option, we have this lovely little doodad here. It's a dispenser for double-sided tape made by Scotch, and it comes in two sizes. That smaller one was about $2 and change, and this larger one was about $8 and change at Office Depot. Anyone who's ever tried wrapping a present or a bar of soap knows that the trickiest part is getting the edges to look nice and clean. So I'm going to show you how to do all of the side folding two different ways. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to call these sides the side flaps, and these ones the front and back flaps. For this first folding method, the first step is to push the side flaps down completely flush with the soap, and then crease the top and bottom flaps at a 45 degree angle. Then you fold the bottom and the top, and that makes your very clean, complete fold. Now we're going to be using the double-sided tape and I'm just rolling it on that flap that's going to be on top and then pressing it down to seal it. 
And if you've got a little bit of extra right here like I do, you can just take a pair of scissors and snip that off and voila, it's clean. Now for the second method, what we're going to do is first press down one of the top or the bottom flaps, flush with the bar of soap and then create a 45 degree angle on those side flaps. Then we fold the side flaps down, flush with the soap, and create a 45 degree angle on the top flap. Then we fold the last flap down, and there's our clean little fold. Again, we use our double-sided tape dispenser and press everything down so it's nice and sealed. And here's the final bar all wrapped up. It looks so nice in its paper. Of course, the front label here is a little bit off center, so you'll just need to take some care while you're doing yours to center it before you start folding. Now, if you have textured tops like this bar, that's gonna have to wait for the next video. In part two, I will show you how to design a label for a soap that has a textured top and how to wrap it. I hope this was helpful for some of you. Make sure to like and subscribe to continue to get content like this. And until next time, be well. well.